Today we're going to be creating this UFO scene in Adobe After Effects using the ellipse effect. Okay, I'm going to start by dragging um, some footage that I have. I just took a short um, 20 second clip of the sky. So I'm going to drag that into my project panel and then drag that into my composition. And I'm just going to use the settings um, that were already set on my camera. Now I'm just going to do some color correction. So I'm going to drag some curves into my layer and just darken it a little bit. Next, under effects and presets, I'm going to use the hue and saturation color correction and darken it a little bit more now i'm going to create a new layer so go to layer new solid and this is going to be the ellipse layer for our ufo and under effects and presets just type in ellipse and just drag that into the UFO layer. Now I'm just going to change the color to a black color. Now what I'm going to do is make this a 3D layer and I'm just going to rotate the ellipse so it looks more like a UFO. It's going to go ahead and rotate this. Now the width I'm going to bring down to 4, height I'm going to change to 0, and then we're going to bring up the thickness, um, we'll change that to 200. And softness we'll bring down to 21%. And under the UFO layer I'm going to change the opacity. Under transform, I'm going to bring the opacity down to 60. And then I'm just going to resize this. So now it's time to animate. So I'm just going to drag the ellipse that we created and so it's no longer on the, the scene. And then make sure your time ruler is at the beginning of your footage and click the stopwatch and then drag the time ruler all the way to the end. And now I'm just going to drag the position until the UFO is all the way across the screen. Right, now I'm just going to do a quick preview, so composition, preview, play current, preview. And 
And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Um, you can play around with the settings and the sizing and the opacity to get the effect that you're looking for. Um, this is just what I came up with using the Ellipse tool in Adobe After Effects.